Welcome back, everybody, to TCG Geek. This is Nasty Lucas, your wonderful TCG host. Uh, coming back at you with our second video. Uh, in this video, we actually got a great little opening here of some Yu-Gi-Oh! Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon booster packs. Uh, these are the English edition. I actually picked these up from Target and Walmart. And uh, these, I believe, are the unlimited uh, reprints from 2017, I think. Uh, someone can correct me if I am wrong. Uh, hope everyone had a good, uh, well, hope everyone's having a good day and hope you all are doing fantastic out there, staying safe with all the craziness that's happening in the world. So um, today, yeah, we're doing the LLB openings. We got 17 packs. Just want to dive right into it. I've had, I've been buying these packs up left and right as I find them and as they become available, and um, just a nice trip down memory lane. I'm sure we're gonna find some really good pulls from these. What I'm really hoping to get out of here is any of the Exodia pieces, um, a blue eyes white dragon, a red eyes. I'll take anything at this point. Um, maybe we'll get lucky and get one of each. Who knows? Maybe we can pull all Exodia out of these 17 packs or not. Maybe we get absolutely nothing. Funny thing is, I actually did give my brother uh, a couple packs for Christmas from this collection I have, and um, he actually did pull, I believe, the left leg of Exodia. So, um, you know, great to see that he was able to pull something decent. Uh, but why don't we jump into this and let's start opening some Legend of Blue Eyes packs, because I am stoked to get these things cracked open. All right, here we go. So here's our LLB packs, all, all of them ready to go. In future videos, I do have some other packs to open. I've got an original Magic Ruler, some Labyrinth Nightmare. I've got Pharaoh's Servant, which I'm gonna be Jinzo hunting for. Uh, and those, I've got some Spell Ruler. Again, picking these up from Target and Walmart. A uh, little pricey, they're sitting at about seven, uh, seven bucks a pop. But you know what, for you guys, it's worth it, all right? To get that good old nostalgic feeling. Let's get right in though. Here we go, here we go, okay. Uh, Tai Home, Skull Servant, Mountain, Skull Redbird, and there's a rare Metal Dragon, uh, one-eyed shield dragon, mystical sheep number two, hard armor, and raise body heat. Um, let's get these moved to the side. And I do have red sleeves available. So uh, if you did watch my uh, Pokemon XY Evolutions opening, I'm actually doing this opening right after I just finished that one. Uh, I think I've got all my recording stuff figured out, so there should be no laps or any uh, problems with recording. So. And I've, I'm now just constantly checking my recordings to make sure that it doesn't stop. <laughs> All right, uh, let's, let's do this. All right, Masaki, the legendary swordsman, Dark King of the Abyss, King Fog, uh, Misaruzami, <laughs> uh, Gra Dragon Capture Jar, Tripwire Beast, Basic Insect, Vile Germs, and Petite Angel. Uh, nothing good so far, but we still got 15 packs to run through, so got time. I do miss playing this game a lot uh, in person, just don't have anyone to play with. Um, I have been playing uh, the online version, uh, was it Duel Links, but Duel Links is so cheap and cheesy and people cheat. <laughs> Let's be real, they do. And it's just like a short, shorter version of the real game. But it's been a while since I've really played an actual game. Um, I would like to really kind of jump, dive back into it. Uh, there's our rare Giant Sojourner of Stone. Uh, Silver Fang is always a cool, pretty cool looking card. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where we stand. I'm hoping once my son arrives uh, in the coming days or weeks, uh, once he becomes old enough, I'm going to teach him how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon. He's just going to be an all-around great guy. All right, 
Uh, Hitotsu, me giant. Uh, the 13th grave. Urebi. Metabat. Uh, fusionist. Hard armor. Raised body heat. Fire grass. Armored starfish. Like, why would I use an armored starfish? It's only got an attack of 850. I mean, I'm sure there's some use cases. Probably not. <laughs> I just remember playing back in the day when Yu-Gi-Oh! first came out, and yeah, I was we, we played beatdown decks, and those decks would just wreck you. Alright, Turtle Tiger, Drooling Lizard, King Falk again, Electro Whip, uh, Carbonella, Warrior, Rain Temperature, Yami, where's Yugi? Uh, Wavy Phantom, and Wasteland. Uh, this is for, yeah, dinosaur, zombie, and rock type. Um, I can't wait to get really get through opening all these cards up because I am going to build the perfect deck for my son and just hold on to it for eternity until he gets old enough so he, I can pass it down to him and say I built this deck specifically for you. Uh, Masaki, the legendary swordsman. Man-eater. Not man-eater bug, mind you. Just man-eater. Hinotama. Two-mouth dark ruler. Uh, another giant soldier of stone. And basic insect, I guess. Dragon treasure. Nothing good. That's all right. We still have many, many packs left. It's like, we still gotta, go, still gotta get through all these bad boys. We still got time. Maybe we'll get lucky and get a really, really good pull. All right, let's see here. Upside down. Machine Conversion Factory. Monster Egg. Lesser Dragon. Oh, I was like the card art. Really cool looking. Uh, petite Dragon. Another Giant Soldier of Stone? Come on. Come on, LOB. You can do better than that. Come on now, we don't need all that giant soldier of stone. We've got three of them already we pulled. Gosh. All right, we can do this. We can do this. You gotta have heart, believe in the heart of the cards, all right? As long as you believe in the heart of the cards, you're fine. Grandpa, Grandpa taught us that. King Fog. Oh, there we go, we got a trap hole. Shiny. Hollow trap hole. Love that. Look at that shininess. Rainbow all over the place. Trap hole, man. This card back in the day. Just wreck wreck would just wreck your day completely. And you know, grape grape digger ghoul. I don't think I ever used this in my deck, but I remember a few people who did, so. But this trap hole card, um, ran three of them in your deck until I think it got limited at one point. Uh, and then you had to run only I think two in your deck. Uh, totally forget, but I used to play down on Wizards of the Coast in the mall and <laughs> every weekend in the tournaments and stuff. Uh, never won a tournament in first place, but I always came really close. I was a third or second. Uh, remember my Exodia deck saved me one time. It took, uh, it took me a whole day to build that Exodia deck uh, with some friends' help, so... Alright, I'm happy to have to get that trap hole though. Nice to take it back old school. It's just nostalgia all over, all over my body. Nostalgia. All right, Mammoth Graveyard, Book of Secret Arts, Metabat, Green Phantom King, Flower Wolf. I always thought that was a weird card. Like, why would you want a Flower Wolf? I mean, his only his attack is only eighteen hundred. It's not that strong. Like, I just don't get it. All right, we can keep going here. Let's see. We got, we, got a, we got at least another one or two good pulls from our, our stack, I think. Metabat, Green Phantom King, Larvas. <gasps> yes! Gaia the Dragon Champion. Look at him. Secret Rare, I believe? Oh, yeah. 2600 attack, 2100 defense, Dragon Fusion. Uh, it requires, uh, of course, Polymerization, Curse of the Dragon, and Gaia the Fierce Knight. I actually got lucky when I first bought one of the LOB packs. Um, 
several months ago, I actually did pull a cursed dragon out of there, so you know where this bad boy's going. Right in a sleeve. Because <laughs> that is just a gorgeous looking card. Look at that full on rainbow effect. Oh man, I couldn't ask for something better. I could. I may not get it. <laughs> uh, Metal Dragon. The Furious Sea King. All right, Aquaman, settle down. <laughs> All right, we're doing pretty well. We got, you know, do a little recap there. We got Guy the Dragon Champion. We got our um, Hollow Trap Hole. So, you know, very happy about that. those two pulls there. But I, I think we, we got another two good pulls in our bones here. Let's see. All right, here we go. Uh, Hitotsumi, Gi Hitotsumi Giant, 13th Grave, Urebi, Metabat. Ooh, yes, we got a Hain Hain. This I ran, whether it was a beatdown deck or it was an Exodia deck. It's a fantastic way to get a monster off the field temporarily and just get them back into your opponent's hands. Came in handy, especially with those uh, high level star monsters. Um, get Someone gets a blue eyes down, they attack your, your face down Hain Hain, bam! Blue Eyes goes back into their hand. So, Hain Hain, I'm gonna sleeve you because you were truly a champion card for me back in the day. I hope this, uh, this opening is bringing back the feels for you guys because, you know, it's really taking me back times when times was simpler. When you're a kid, you just teenager, and just hang out. Do nothing all day. Didn't have to adult. Uh, skull Servant, Mountain, Skull, Redbird, and there it is. The right leg of the Forbidden One. That is truly epic right there. Look at him. Shiny, hollow. We got an Exodia piece. This is amazing. I'm so happy that we were able to pull this because I was getting a little worried because, you know, we're getting down in our pack level here. And, um,. I, want, I do need another piece of Exodia, especially an LOB branded piece. Look at that. Shiny. We don't care about the rest of these guys. All we care about is Exodia. Uh, look at them. All is glory. That gold lettering. Just fantastic. We're going to sleeve the, sleeve the leg up. If we, can get, if we get lucky and pull a head out of here, man, oh man. How amazing would that be? Ah. Uh, Love that though. Full Exodia. Or right leg, at one, one fifth of Exodia. <laughs> one fifth, right? Left leg, right leg, right arm, left leg. Yep, yeah, one fifth of Exodia. So there we go. Another one. Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Come on, Grandpa. You taught us to believe in the heart of the card. So far, we believed and. It came through. We got some really cool pulls so far. Uh, let's see if we can keep that pull rate going. Hinotama, Two Mouth Dark Ruler, um, Fire Aru, or Fire Yaru. Yep, Dark King of the Abyss, Fissure. That's another really great one. Um, I remember we could only run, I think, two Fissures per deck back in the day. Uh, I don't know what the rules are now, but I mean, this thing was just a beast of a card. You pull this out on one of your opponents, um, and it's just, it just screws up their entire day. Uh, Fissure was, was amazing. Um, couldn't live life without Fissure. Needed at least two Fissures in your deck, if not three, if you're not playing by, you know, the rules, and uh, three trap holes. And of course, there's Wabaku as well. Uh, always could use a Wabaku in your deck. Or, I think we were limited to two Wabakus. So we used to just bang them out. Just reflect the attack and negate it. Uh, Wabaku was amazing. Alright, we got Mountain, Skull Redbird, Misaki, the Legendary Swordsman. Aha! Curse of the Dragon. Or Curse, Curse of Dragon. There we go. Um, yeah, we got him to be paired up with our Gaia the Dragon Champion. What a beautiful pairing right there, that we were able to pull one. That is truly epic. I, I am so happy that we were able to pull that out of the hat, out of our rabbit's hat there. Um, that, is, that is really good. 
quality of this card is on point too. Centering looks pretty solid. No print lines that I can see, no whiting on the edges. Truly fantastic pull there. And of course we got a dragon capture jar. That's always nice. All right, down to three packs left. Come on, Grandpa. You're gonna be with us, right? Believe in the heart of the cards. We're gonna we're gonna pull Exodia's head out of here and build Grandpa's deck. Ooh, how how excited would that be? All right, let's see. Book of Secret Arts, Metabat, Green Phantom King, Larvas, uh, another Dragon Capture Jar. Okay, nothing special here. Uh, how cool would it be if we were to pull? I think you can. Pretty sure you can get uh, a. Um, Dark Magician out of here. I think Dark Magician Girl? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, Blue Eyes, of course, would be a truly epic pull as well. Let's see what we got. Down to our last two. Tie Home, Skull Servant, Mountain, Skull Redbird, Flame Ghost. Okay, not bad. I actually, I think I have one of these that are actually graded from PSA. Um, so it's such a weird looking card. It reminds me of ah um, oh, the Batman villain. I always forget his name, but he's like the the clay monster. That's what it reminds me of. And here we are, down to our last lob pack. May the gods be with us. Let us get a good pull. We can do it. Everyone have faith. Believe. Send good vibes our way so we can get Exodia, the Exodia head, or Red Eyes, or um, uh, Blue Eyes, or Dark Magician. Something, something great. Come on, come on. Let's tap the cards. Let's do it. Petite Dragon, Silver Bow and Arrow, Terra the Terrible, Tyhone. Ah. Uh. Dragon Capture Jar. That is upsetting. We ended on such a low note there. But on the bright side, we had a pretty good pull there. Out of 17 packs, we actually pulled Cursed Dragon, Gaia the Dragon Champion. We pulled a Right Leg of Exodia. We pulled a Hain Hain, a Trap Hole, and a Fissure. That is six. So six out of 17 uh, packs we opened up, we got pretty amazing pulls there. I, I'm not gonna complain. That is truly amazing. Just look at these, look at them. Oh God, opened. Man, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that way too much. <laughs> that was just a lot of fun uh, getting to pull, uh, pull these cards out. It really takes you back to back in the day and when Yu-Gi-Oh! was first fresh and just thriving. It's, I'm sure it's still thriving, but that's not the point. <laughs> Rules have changed, the game has changed, it is way faster than it used to be. It used to be a more slower, methodical game, I believe. And now it's a faster paced game and you know, it's still fun. I just have to start learning the new rules and just kind of jump back into it. But look at that, that's a pretty solid pull. I'm glad we got the Secret Rare card. That is, uh, that is just truly epic. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a Secret Rare. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. I'm not an expert on judging rarity of the cards. Just too many different levels of rarity. <laughs> uh, Curse of Dragon, that goes perfectly with our Gaia. Uh, left, right leg, and Hain Hain, perfect in, a, in, an, uh, in an old school Exodia deck. Trap Hole and Fissure works in any deck, I believe. Still, can be, I, I think it's still gonna be played in some respect. I could be wrong, but fantastic cards nonetheless. Um, yeah, that's, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I think I will kick it off with another video back-to-back uh, -back on this one. I think I'll do my Metal Raiders next. I really want to uh, get a Barrel Dragon out of Metal Raiders because that was the first ever holo card I pulled out of a Yu-Gi-Oh pack long, long, long ago. 
But yeah, this was truly epic and amazing. I mean, being able to reopen LOB packs, even though they're reprints, it's just so much fun. Uh, it makes you feel like a kid again. And um, I hope you guys enjoy, enjoyed today's video. Um, be sure to like the video if you liked it and enjoyed it and had a good time, felt nostalgic. If you didn't like it, meh, I could care less. <laughs> I appreciate your opinion either way, good or bad. You're not gonna hurt my feelings. Uh, please feel free to leave a comment below. Um, all the information for my uh, gaming channels, my gaming tags uh, will be located in the description below. Be sure to follow my Instagram account. It is tcg.geek. Uh, you'll be able to follow my and track my, track my progress there of uh, all the cards I'm collecting uh, for my personal collection. As I've said in my first Pokemon video, um, any duplicates that I do have um, that's not going to my personal collection, I'm probably going to be reselling on TCG Player or eBay. I don't quite know yet. I'm still new to this YouTube thing and kind of feeling my way through it all. So, uh, you know, be sure to check the description uh, below for more information. And um, thank you for watching. I hope you uh, Yu-Gi-Oh fans enjoy the dark side of the Shadow Realm. And I hope you all have a great night. Thank you. And be on the lookout for my next video, which is going to be Metal Raiders. Thanks. Bye.